Hi everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails, and today we're going to be playing um, Cashier Simulator. I love simulators, I really, really do, and, you know, I've been playing this one for a little bit. It is basic, don't get me wrong, basic doesn't mean bad. It does everything that, you know, it says it does, and I actually quite enjoy it. I don't know if that's weird or... Or just me. So here we are. I have been playing it for a while, like I just mentioned, so I'm going to continue our game. You will hear my mouse and keyboard. And you start up in your apartment. It's kind of cool. You know, you've got a bed, you can see your shop out in the distance. You have your own TV, skateboard. You have air conditioning, which you can turn on and off, along with the lighting and a chair to sit on we're just gonna head out one thing I will add is which is actually a really good thing there is no um, fatigue or tiredness or hunger or needs your character doesn't need anything you can just check out customers restock your shop so we are here already at the shop and you can name it Tales from the Tales Snacks. Doesn't really fit on the sign, but it works. It works. As soon as you open your door with E, the shop is open for your customers. Yay. So, so far we've got like chips, biscuits, candy, cleaner, cereal, a few cookies, uh, cola, canned fruit, salad, a smoothie. Iced coffees, yogurt, and cheese. Each item has a different price. And we can turn on and off the uh, air conditioners. You heard a beep. We have a customer. So you've got one of those and one of those. This is as basic as it is, and I quite like it. It's three pound and three pounds. So that's six pounds, sir. You type it in on your keyboard, and off you go. One cool feature, I do like this TV, you can type in any URL, you can watch movies or, you know, shows, podcasts. I'm just going to put the YouTube channel on. From the trails, we're going to go enter, give it a second. So whatever you put in, you will see on the screen and that's a cool little feature. I like that feature. It's up there, we've got a dude, another dude. We have cleaner and a cola. So it's four pound and three pound. My maths is awful. Seven, whoops. There we go. If you undercharge them, they will take the item and you'll be left short, but they will not pay for it if you overcharge them, which is understandable. You can over time add more stock through this here, this little computer. Let's serve this dude, so that's 13 and, what's that, nine, what's that? Um, 12, no, 22. My maths is awful, I always use a calculator. Never been a strong point. Oh, got it right. Honestly, maths and me, we do not go hand in hand. So this little thing, um, the, the computer, you buy all your shop upgrades, you can rename your shop here as well. You can add a new shelf if you've got enough money. And you, it says recommended by the TV, which we've got. And the chair. The chair, I regret buying. I really do regret buying it because it is always in the way. Just a, a pet peeve, it should be moved over slightly. Um, so we have the £11 and the £7. 11, 18, let's go with 18, got it wrong, so it was too low but he took it anyway, which is fine, can restock with R, if you can afford it, 35, yeah we'll get some of them, 4 for them, 5 for them, got 18 left, uh, coffee, yeah that'll do. Um, holding shift makes you run as well. 
Three. Two threes are six. I know that one. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, that is essentially the game. There is room for improvement. Like, maybe we could scan the items in the future. Just an idea. Type that up on there. The, uh... How much we're going to charge people. So we have cereal and cheese. 13 and 12. So that's 25. Like I say, my mass is awful. I need a calculator. Now, one thing, well, you know, would be nice turn the lights on and off. We've got the air conditioning units, we can turn them on. And there's a security camera. And yet, no, we, we can't use it. Which is fine, but maybe for the future? We can't use this door either. I don't know what's out there. No idea whatsoever. So we have those. Seven. And fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one? That is essentially it. It's a very short game review, I know, but that's all you do. I like re like repetitive games, I really do. And you can do it for hours. Seven, ten. There you go, sir. I mean, like I say, you, your character doesn't get tired, they don't need food. I mean, you just carry on. The more you earn, the more you can, like, buy a new shelf. You know, keep stocking up your shop. And um, the more shelves you've got, the more chance they have of buying more items. So it's not always two items. You can go up to five, I believe. What am I doing? Um, a juice, which is 11. 12, 13, 15. Honestly, me and maths, we don't work. Later, later dude, if you want to close your shop, you just close your door. You can go home, start a new day, if you so wish. And right now, I'm going to look at the description of the game and see if it delivers. So, if you give me a second, I'm going to the pause menu. Bring something up. Here we are. I need to make it bigger on my screen so I can show you. Might hear that, might not. Okay. Description. Where's the description? I know it's on your screen, it's not on my screen. Here we are. Cashier Simulator is a game where the player plays as a cashier in a supermarket. In addition to checking out uh, to customers, you'll have to restock the shelves, upgrade the shop, buy new equipment, and unlock new products. It's not easy to handle the checking out process, as you need to calculate how exactly uh, the cost of the products each customer bought. In addition, customers will be buying more products at once and you, the cashier, need to manually calculate the cost of those products. In order, in order to make this experience much more fun, you can purchase a TV, a chair, uh, in-game, sit back, relax and watch any online video while working. Well, to be fair, everything's there. It doesn't overpromise. The The, the pictures of it. The screenshots of videos are exactly what it is. I mean, do we play as a cashier? Yes. Do we check out customers? Yes. Do we restock shelves? Yes. Do we upgrade the shop? Yes. Do we buy more equipment? Yes. The TV and the chairs. Do we unlock new products? And yes, we do. And it also says you need to calculate uh, each cost of the transaction manually, and that's exactly what you do. So... No bad words. It does exactly as it promised. Let me just go back. There we go. It literally does exactly what it says on the tin, and it's less than six pound, I believe, in Steam Store. You know, as any as with any game, there are room for improvements, but it does exactly as promised, and I've not had any uh, crashes or anything like that. So we have 11 and 7. Um, so that's 18. 
Oops, that's not right. This is probably wrong. Yeah, it's lower. Oh yeah. Definitely have a look at it. Definitely have a look at it. I think it is worth the price. It does exactly what it promises. Another dude. Hello dude. So yeah. I'm going to carry on playing. I wish you all the best. And happy trails out there.